Good day everyone you're watching Rate You Fixes. On today's video I'm going to talk about how to do a basic color calibration or how to use a basic color, uh, color calibration tool on your Windows 10 machine. Now please note in case if you are uh, using your computer for a professional photography or for editing this may not be the right video tutorial or you uh, use the tool probably you may use this tool in case if that doesn't work you might end up using uh, a one of the hardware screen calibrator to uh, calibrate your external monitor now in order to use the basic windows inbuilt color screen uh, monitor what you will have to do is you will have to click on the search in the search box you will have to type this command which says dccw run as administrator now this will open up the app for the display color calibration what you will have to do is you will have to connect your external monitor uh, to your laptop or your desktop and move the screen to your other monitor or your external monitor once you move the screen you will have to click on next and follow the uh, instruction which is displayed on the screen now the first thing what you will have to do is you will have to set up your external monitor display to the factory settings unit using the menu settings on your external monitor which you have c connected in case if you're not able to find that you can leave it as it is and click on next now this gives you or uh, defines the clarity of your external monitor now gamma defines the mathematical relationship between the red green and blue color values that are sent to the display and the amount of light that's ultimately emitted from it which means that uh, uh, the gamma defines the uh, amount of red green and blue color light which are emitted from the monitor which uh, in turn gives you the in-depth uh, clarity of a particular monitor so once um, now on the first image shows that the gamma is too low and this is a good gamma which is good for uh, the viewing and here the gamma is too high which means that uh, the relationship between red green and blue colors are high here and here it is good so you will have to select or adjust um, the uh, screen to this gamma um, you can differentiate you will have to click on next and here you can go ahead and select the gamma so in my case I'm going to select uh, I, I think this would be a better one and in case if you're not happy with it you can click on reset and go back to the uh, previous settings click on next and here in case if you want to skip the brightness you can uh, click on the skip, skip the brightness and the contrast adjustment so I'm going to click on next without skipping the brightness and here it will give you the display the brightness adjustment determines how dark colors and shadow appears on your display so here the the middle picture uh, represents it's a good brightness and the one at the right and the left represents it is too bright and too dark so I'm going to click on next and here you will have to make adjustment on your monitor uh, buttons uh, which is at the bottom or it might be at the back or at the left so using the controls on your display set the brightness higher or low until you distinguish the shirt from a suit with the X barely visible if you look at here if you set the brightness you will see a red uh, black X so this has to be visible in my case it is not visible right now um, so you have to make sure the X over here is visible and then click on next and this gives you the contrast the one uh, the picture in the middle gives you a good contrast and this is too much of contrast and this is uh, not enough contrast so I'm going to click on next and here you will have to using the control button mm -hmm. on your monitor you will have to select the contrast in a such a way that you should you have the ability to see the wrinkles at the bottom of on the shirt so you should be able to see the wrinkles at the bottom on the shirt so once you are adjusted the contrast you will have to click on next and here you can do a color balance adjustment click on next you can adjust the color brightness that is red green and blue uh, as you want click on next and the next step here if you're not happy with the calibration what you have done you can click on previous calibration which will 
uh, wipe out all the settings what you have done so far and keep the uh, restore back to the previous calibration and if you are happy with the calibration what you have done so far you can click on current calibration in case if you want to run a clear type a clear text type tuner you can check this box and click on finish i'm going to click on previous calibration because i'm happy with the previous calibration and i'm going to click on finish now this will bring me the uh, color text the clear text uh, tool now this tool help you help you to distinguish uh, between the clear text uh, on your computer screen in case if you want more information on this i will plug uh, the video at the top right corner of the screen which I have already made on this channel. I hope you like this video. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. And I hope you should be able to make uh, a good color calibration for your external monitor which you have already connected to your laptop or a desktop. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.